Thank you. All right, now. Sacrifices you had to make to become a truck driver. Leave the family in the home. Get me out for a while. Okay. You're not gonna see your family. Okay. The only thing I would say, Ernest, is not being able to shower as much as I would like to. That's really about it. Requires for me. What are some of the issues females face in the industry today? I don't want to say that because I haven't, I haven't run into that problem. Like I haven't seen any really difference from my perspective. I make good money at this, but I wouldn't want to try to raise a family on the pay. Okay, okay. So you're saying pay would probably be the biggest issue right now? Yeah, but that's the same for most uh, most industries nowadays, I'd say. A part of uh, driving, mm -hmm. the fuel, checking the control. Why did you seek a job in trucking? I like to travel. For the money, just to be honest. <laughs> The money and the and kind of the job security. So yeah, why? I like it. I like uh, drive. Okay. This is a better job I can I can find. Describe your dispatcher from one to ten. Uh, well, I I can describe it as uh, good, uh, sufficient. Okay. Uh, okay. Ten to problem. About eight. He's a ten. What motivation? <laughs> Getting paid. Do you think there's more training needed in trucking? Yeah, yeah. Not for the larger carriers, yeah. The smaller ones, maybe not so much. Yes, some companies especially because they're not, they're not thorough. They like they train for every month or two and they just throw them out there. So yes, it is. In some companies, yeah. What frustrates you? the lack of communication with like shippers and receivers that's really about it what are the biggest reasons people fail as truck drivers um, i would say some people Your aren't aware of everything that it takes to really be a truck driver they're not really for, in it for the career they just think i guess for the short term so i would think that's a lot of it and they're not made aware of everything that kind of goes on out here yeah i think it's a lack of uh, time with your family uh, I was military for about eight years. I mean, okay. I went on about three different deployments, and when you're gone, all sorts of things can happen. Driver facing cameras, a deal breaker for you? Uh, I won't work for a company that has those. So driver facing cameras. Uh -huh. Do you think the cameras invade privacy? No, I mean, privacy is first. <laughs> Why do trucking companies say they treat you like family? Of course, to get you there and try to keep you. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good question because they think you're stupid. Because it's a line of bullshit. Oh, <laughs> I don't know about that. It is. I've been with the same guy seven years and that it ain't no family. That is a pizza. <laughs> what has trucking done for you? Um, well, let's see. I just bought a house in cash. Awesome. But I don't have a mortgage. That kind of helped out. Uh, it helped me move out to a place that I'd actually want to be. Um, yeah, what else can I think of? Say it again. What has trucking done for you? In other words, what kind of lifestyle trucking gave you? Good, good life. I haven't missed any meals, if you can't tell. Yeah, yeah. It's been, it's really helped me, honestly, be a better person. Because I'm out here by myself. Like mentally, you're. I'm like, my mental is just good because I'm here by myself, you know, and I get to kind of just relax. Um, of course, once again, money. Um, it's just really 
for me, it's, it's changed a lot. I've been able to do more for my family, you know, because, I mean, I'm the breadwinner for everything, so it, it's, it has my life pretty much stable. I'll say it like that.